Hello friends, welcome to Squared Plans, where creative planning and organization comes to life. I'm Stephanie, and today I'll be creating a holiday bucket list plus a movie and book tracker for my Christmas planner. Such a fun way to add a bit of DIY seasonal decor, so let's get to it. And I used these clear vinyl sticker sheets along with some cardstock, these Happy Planner sticker books, and these Planning Things sticker books, which I'll pull from. Okay, you guys, so the first thing I did was take a sheet of this printed cardstock, cut it down to classic size, and then punched it with my Happy Planner punch. I also went ahead and printed the bucket list items that I did last year and gave away for free, which will also be linked again down below in the description, and printed those at 50% scale just because I wanted them to be a bit smaller for this design. So I went ahead and did that and cut them down into strips so it'll be a little bit easier for me to use them here on the sheet. And now I'm in the Planty Thing sticker book from last year. I believe it's called Christmas Fun. And I'm pulling out these super cute ornament stickers that were in there to make the design. I was originally going to pull all the big sizes and colors, whatever was available, but I think I'm going to try to limit the color scheme a little bit since there's like four or five different colors I could pull from. I think I'll just stick with the red, the minty green, and the kind of cloudy blue there. I think that'll match the best with the paper stock I have, but still have a bit of a holiday feel. So I've got those on the sheet haphazardly placed around. I didn't want them to look too uniform. I am now in the Happy Planner sticker books from ooh, a couple years ago now. The Merry and Bright, both the mini and the regular size. Looking for some other items to use, auxiliary items, just to give a little bit more pattern and fun to look at. So I found these strips of snowflakes in a little bit of a darker blue than what's there on the sheet, so I think that'll work. And just, again, doing a lot of searching through the books, seeing if there's anything else I think would be a good match for the design. I found the mini version in there and was going to try to pull them in, but they're a little bit different, so maybe I'll use those when I do the book and movie tracker. I thought that might be a nice addition, having that bow branch look on there, but it just was a little bit too different, I felt. The design of these stickers have more of a cutesy vibe to me, and that looked very traditional as far as the design. So I decided against that and combining them together. So we'll stick with what we have now, and I'll start moving in the bucket list items that I think I want to tackle this season. And I'm just cutting them down and putting them into those ornaments. Finding the ones that I think I want to do. I printed them again at 50%. So all I did was took the printable that I've included and printed it at 50% scale. You can also do it so that you print two pages up. And that'll easily cut it to 50% or even a little bit smaller. And that will make it very easy for you to reuse that sheet if you want to conserve your label sheet paper. I am limiting it just a bit, not trying to do all the things this holiday season. Things that are more practical, but will also push me a little bit out of my comfort zone as far as what I normally do. Which is why I really like to do these bucket lists, because... I tend to get into a routine. I tend to do the same things over and over again. So it's nice to have something that just drives me to do something fresh and new. So bucket lists have been the way for me to kind of bring a little spice to life. I've already put in all of the bucket list items I think I want to tackle. And I'm still looking just for a few more items of decor to really make this come to life a bit. 
I'm having a hard time just finding something that I feel matches the vibe, though, in the books that I tended to pull. The Happy Planner books have the right vibe, but not the right colors for the most part. And the Planning Thing books have a lot more of the decor and stuff that I think I want to use, but the color is, or the style for most of them is a little too traditional looking. So we'll figure something out. <laughs> Let's go ahead and start moving things over and we will just see what happens. So I'm moving over the strips that I pulled there in that quote. I'm also going to use the wax paper, but just move things over one by one, kind of getting them in the same spot I had them on the wax paper. I did like the random feel of that, so we'll start with that. I will put in the bottom row first because I'm going to draw in the hanging, you know, wire lines or whatever you call it, strings for the ornaments. And I don't want to have to work around different stickers and stuff if I can avoid it. I also went ahead and penciled in the title of the page, which is going to read Holiday Bucket List. And again, I really wanted to have that idea of where that was going to go so that I didn't have to draw strings around it later or figure out how to white out behind the words. And then I just grab my Furunosuke hard tip brush pen and I'm going to letter in holiday and then with my Pigma Micron in a 05, I'm going to put bucket list. So using a brush pen and then just a fine liner to do that. Turned out pretty good. I do like to pencil things in though because if I had tried to freehand that, of course, I would have misspelled something or <laughs> something would go wrong. So I tend to lean heavily on penciling in things before I do them, just to be on the safe side. So we've dropped in a lot of those ornaments. Let's go ahead and draw the remaining strings now. And I think I'll have these ones here on the right coming down just from that bar that I have placed there. I'm also going to add in a checkbox at the top of each of the ornaments. So when I complete that task, I can go ahead and check it off. Usually I like to put the date when I complete the bucket list item, but I think I'll just stick with the checklist for now since I'll probably end up writing it on my holiday calendar anyway. So it should be pretty straightforward to just check it off here and then I'll have the calendar kind of showing me what I actually did and when I did it. Okay, so like I said, I wanted some extra decor here and I thought these were a nice mix of cutesy and a semi-traditional as well. It's got enough of the right colors and the cutesiness, I think, to match with the styling of the sheet. So I'll just drop a few of those in there at the bottom to give, again, some more pizzazz to the page. And now we'll move on to the back side where I think I want to do this holiday entertainment insert, if you will, where I'm actually tracking the movies and the books that I read this holiday season. I do that on my December monthly in my daily planner as well. So this is going to be a little added bonus, but I'm specifically going to stick with anything that was holiday related. I do watch a lot of holiday themed stuff and read holiday themed books at this time so it'll be just kind of nice to have it here in my holiday planner so I know for next year too what I did already read or what I might want to read again same with the movies so I went into the mini merry and bright sticker book there from the happy planner and saw these long kind of skinny boxes that I think will really work well for tracking items on this page. Originally I was going to add maybe something else other than books and movies in there to track, but then, I mean, really I only read and watch stuff. There's not much else that I could think of to track in that. So 
I have five boxes there, but I think I'll be able to get away with just four. I found two that were shopping lists, but in the same color as two of the other ones that I found that were lined. So I'll be combining those blue and the pink ones together as one tracking space, even though they are in separate boxes. And now I am going back to that decor I put on the front with the kind of cutesy village scene and am adding that to the bottom here of this page for some decor. And everything looks really good. I just thought that there was this one sticker that needed a little bit more sky. So I cut it off of another one and place it here just to give it a little bit more of a uniform look there at the bottom. And like I said, I'm going to save that green box for something else and just stick with the navy blue and the light pink boxes since I had two of each. And now I'm back into that mini sticker book and I'm going to pull those same snowflakes that I would saw from the front in the mini version here on the back. We'll move around these boxes a little bit. Figure out how I want to add in these mini sticker strips. Also looking for some other decor for around the boxes. Since this isn't a pattern paper or anything, I do feel like it needs a little something. And was going to try to cut out these snowflakes from the hexagons, but I just didn't feel like it. I was like, that's going to be a lot of work. So let's see what else we have and went back and looked through <laughs> the sticker books for some other ideas. I did see some snowflakes in there, which I thought might work, but I didn't see too many at first. So I kept looking and found another page with the similar snowflakes and colors. So I think that would be enough to fill in the gaps in and around the boxes. I'll pull those in, kind of mix up the colors a little bit. Decided to leave the green ones on the sticker sheet just because I didn't really have a strong green like that anywhere else on these pages. So we'll stick with the blue and the more teal toned colors. And then I saw some clear sticker strips here with some more snowflakes. Kind of feel like that snowflake theme is pretty strong on this spread. So we'll keep that and use that at the top to highlight the title as well. Okay, so I think I'm pretty happy with this. Let's go ahead and try to move over these stickers onto the page. I did decide that I wanted that little village to be just a smidge up from the top so there would be a little gap there. So everything's going to shift up. And I'll just go ahead and roll it off since it was pretty well aligned there on the sheet. And now we'll move over these boxes. Again, because I moved everything up, we'll have to maneuver a few things in and around them. And I'm liking that, kind of that staggered look. I'll pencil in the title for the page, which is going to be Holiday, and we'll call it Holiday Entertainment. I guess I could put Tracker there as well. Maybe I'll go in after the fact and do that later. I definitely did not do that on camera, <laughs> thinking about that now. And then I'll also pencil in what I'm tracking in each of those two areas. So I've got Movies Watched there at the top. And at the bottom, I will do books red. Again, penciling the letters in beforehand, just to be safe. And we'll lay in that strip of clear sticker there and pin in the title. And I'll also pin in with the brush pen the other cursive areas here with the books and the movies. And then go back with my fine liner and do the smaller print font below each. Overall, I think this came out really cute. 
The styling is a little bit different than the rest of my planner. Currently though, as you'll see when I put it in there, it's a lot more red and green vibes in my planner at the moment, but I do like this bit of freshness that feels a little bit different from the rest. Sometimes it's fun to bring in some different color schemes, some different vibes and mix things up. So I did end up using this sticker strip, so I'll go ahead and put that back. And I think that's gonna do it. I started to drop this in and realized I needed to cut out the stickers where it held over the hole. So we'll go back and fix that. And once I'm done with that, you guys, we will be done friends. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up down below. Also too, go ahead and leave me a comment if you'd like to get in touch and think about subscribing to my channel if you haven't already, if you'd like to see more of my videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And we'll see you next time. Bye.